Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Annabelle. And we're absolutely passionate about street art. So we're going to show you some of the art and let you meet some of the artists. So come along with us. We are at Vietnamese Laundry looking at Ink and Ruby Studio. Ink and Ruby started when I was painting not on big walls but proper paintings and I used to paint these girls in ink and they all had a little ruby dot on their cheeks mm -hmm. so I thought Ink and Ruby and that's just kind of stuck with me. How do you come up with your designs? Sometimes it's the client asking you to paint something in particular and then other times, like this beautiful wall, they just give you total free range and you can paint whatever you want and that's the dream when you get a client that's like, do what you want and you go for it. Now we're going to go and see our friend James, aka the Walking Creative. What um, has driven you to have that wonderful, sort of beautiful, bright, happy style? Um, for me, I know I sort of went through a phase where I was struggling with like mental health, and the vibrant colours was sort of my light out the dark. And with the mural in York Street, um, was there a reason for that to be produced? Yeah, so that was um, commissioned by um, a non-for-profit organisation called Sight for All. And um, yeah, they saw me painting uh, down Edwardstown and they said, oh, you've got to include a lot of eyes in your work to be perfect for the job. So they hit me up and um, yeah, I did a bit of study about how successful the team have been with like, the doctors, ophthalmologists, working over in like um, uh, Southeast Asia, and that was just about how successful I've been on a like global scale. 